Hi, this is Connor from Voice Recognition Australia. This video will be a brief training guide to explain some of the functions and principles of Dragon Professional Anywhere. In order to begin using Dragon Professional Anywhere, or DPA, the thin client must be installed either locally to your computer, or, if you remote into a work server, it will be installed on that server. This thin client is the application that allows you to interface with the Dragon in the cloud and complete your dictations. So let's open Dragon Professional Anywhere now. Upon logging in, you will be greeted by a profile screen. This will allow you to choose which microphone to use, along with language and specialty. Once you have selected a microphone, click OK and DPA will log you in and produce the Dragon Bar, which will appear at the top of the screen or in the middle of the screen. This bar will have two buttons. On the left is the microphone button, which will show red when the microphone is off and green when the microphone is on to show the Dragon is now listening. Clicking this button will toggle between listening on and off. This can also be toggled using the numpad plus key on your keyboard. On the right is the Dragon Bar menu, which you can access your vocabulary, auto texts, and step-by-step -step commands to customize your Dragon Professional Anywhere account. You can also access Dragon options from this menu to further customize your experience. Moving on from the Dragon Bar, I will open Microsoft Word and briefly dictate some of the main principles of Dragon Professional Anywhere. The audit revealed that renovation project development costs paid on behalf of a Brown Incorporated affiliate were understated full stop. As a result, comma, the consolidated net assets for Brown Incorporated as of December 31st, 2013 have been increased by $216,500 to correct this error full stop. As you can tell by that previous dictation, the first principle is to dictate at a normal speed, making sure not to speak too fast or too slowly. It is particularly important not to dictate too slowly as Dragon will interpret hesitation or pausing as either a command or intended punctuation. Secondly is to use punctuation to help provide context to a situation, sentence or dictation. Lastly, to avoid microphone clipping which is activating the microphone and beginning to speak at the same time. Dragon will often take about half a second to begin listening after activating the microphone. Now, I will address the two commands that can be used to manage your dictation. These commands are functionally identical and can be used interchangeably. These are the select and correct commands. To showcase this, I will dictate a short sentence using a word that Dragon Professional Anywhere is unfamiliar with. Upon leaving the office this morning, I received word from David Cosinger that he is ready to finalize the documentation required to adjust his lease contract full stop. I have booked in a 12 o'clock appointment with him and his legal representative to make the subsequent changes to this contract full stop. Note that particularly hard to pronounce or uncommon names are not in the Dragon Professional Anywhere dictionary. They will need to be manually added. I will now demonstrate the select command to correct Dragon's mistake. By saying select David Becosinger, this will pull up a menu with suggestions. If any of these are viable, simply say choose one, choose two, etc. Because none of these will be viable, I will say add that to vocabulary. I will now demonstrate this. Select David Becosinger. Add that to vocabulary. This will bring up the vocabulary menu, which will enable you to add new words and names that are otherwise unrecognized by Dragon. Simply type in the word you wish to add. In this case, it would be Cosinger. To finalize this, you can either use default pronunciation or train the word yourself by using this microphone button. Now we can re-dictate the name over the top of the error.
David Cosinger. You can also use this select function to emphasize words and sentences with formatting commands. For example, select 12 o'clock. Underline that. There are a few commands that can be paired with the select command to manipulate and format your dictation. If you'd like to make something bold, you would say bold that. Notice that simply saying bold or underline does not work as it would just replace the selected word or sentence with the word bold or underline. Dragon will recognize it as a command if it is followed by the word that. Next, we will take a look at auto texts. This is a popular feature for customers that are using Dragon. Here I have an example of an auto text I've created for a site visit form. Insert site visit form. May 1st. Next field. 27 Burlington Way, Woburn, MA. Next field. Larissa Bates. Next field. 1 Wayside Road, Burlington, MA. 01803, United States. Next field. Sales at voicerecognition.com.au 1-300-255-900 Next field. Accept defaults. And so forth. The way Dragon identifies these fields is through a preset delimiter, which can be adjusted to anything you'd like in the options menu. By having an opening delimiter and a closing delimiter, Dragon will treat these fields as something it can interact with and jump between using the commands next field and previous field. You can also create your own auto text by clicking on the Dragon Bar menu and selecting Manage Auto Texts or by using the command Manage Auto Texts. By clicking on the plus at the bottom of the screen, you will pull up the auto text creation form. Here you will have a name, description, spoken form, and content. The spoken form will be the words that you need to speak in order to insert that auto text into your document, and the content will be the text inserted. Let's make an auto text for use by a police officer making notes while he's on patrol. I'll type Hi, Officer Name, Officer Type. Assigned to the time to time shift operating marked cruiser number cruiser number made the following observations. Then we give it a name and a spoken form before clicking apply all. Now let's clear this document. Select all. Delete that. Insert patrol form. Officer Richard Stanley. Next field. Highway patrol. Next field. 4 p.m. Next field. Midnight. Next field. 012. Next, we'll be looking at step-by-step -step commands, or macros. These are more advanced commands that you can program yourself to do a variety of functions. For example, I have a step-by-step -step command that will press Open Task Manager or Microsoft Excel when I verbally speak the command Open Task Manager or Open Excel. I'll briefly show you how to make a step-by-step -step command that will come in useful with your future Dragon. 
First let's navigate to the step by step command menu by accessing the dragon bar menu. Then we navigate and click on the manage step by step commands. To create a new command click on the plus at the bottom of the screen that will bring up the creation screen. For this command, we're going to tell Dragon to press backspace when the backspace command is spoken, as Dragon Professional Anywhere does not have this functionality by default. So click on the new step button and select hotkey. Now that we have hotkey step added, navigate to the box here and simply press backspace on your keyboard. Make sure the command is named backspace before clicking apply all. Now let's test it out. Arthur Brown is a very bright, comma, intelligent and outgoing child, comma, backspace, full stop. Now we've gone over some of the basics of Dragon Professional Anywhere. If you find that you still need to know more, you can check out the help section in the Dragon Bar. If you need to know more about the commands you can use, you can check out the what can I say section as it goes into more detail about the various commands you can use to get the most out of your dragon. This concludes the Dragon Professional Anywhere training video. If you have any further questions about dragon, feel free to give us a call at 1300 255 900 or visit our website voicerecognition.com.au. For a guide on the Dragon Anywhere mobile companion app, there is a link in the video description. Thanks for watching.